okay I've never washed these two blankets together because that one is red but I've washed them many many times now so I'm hoping that the red will not fade onto this this one it's just our blankets that we use in our um, recliners when we get um, a little chilly up there so even in the summer we get chilly because our air is doing so good okay I'm using my Earth Breeze, my favorite, favorite detergent right now. I love it. I love it. You should try it. I don't get anything from it, but you should try it. It's really good. All right, we're going to put these in. Got several little things we need to do today. Let's see if we need to go here. That's good. All right. Okay, we're in the sewing room. Um, I've got two pair of pants and one shirt to do something for for my son. I have to hem the pants. The shirt, he wants it cropped like just below the waist a little. So I'm gonna do that for him today. He starts to school next week. He's gonna be a senior. So I'm gonna do that for him and I thought I'd just bring you along while I'm doing it. And we'll just talk. Okay, we're gonna do the shirt. And in the last clip, I said I had something to do for my son. It's my grandson, my 17 year old grandson. I have two pair of pants that we're going to hem for him. I've already got them marked and ready to sit down at the machine. And this shirt, he likes, he wants to, <laughs> he's kind of in the late 80s, early 90s style. Um, that's what a lot of the kids are doing now, the baggier pants. Not the kind that come below your waist. I told him if I see him wearing them with his butt showing, Nana's getting him, so he says, oh no, I'm not doing that, and I don't think he will, but he likes the baggy jeans and stuff, and so I'm hemming those, and then this shirt is going to be cropped just below his waist. That seemed to be the style back then. I looked it up, and it is, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and mark the shirt and get it ready, and then we'll go from there. So I've already got it. Okay, let me go get something. I'll be right back. Okay, I messed up on the camera, not on the shirt. I somehow deleted the clip that I just did marking the hem where I had to cut. So, sorry about that, can't get it back. So, anyway, I'm back to um, cutting where I marked it. So, I actually had paused the camera to go check on my husband because he's cutting the grass and he came in a few minutes early and I wanted to check on him. And I'm back now to finish cutting this off. I said in the other clip that I was going to press this, get it ready to hem. I will press the hem of it where I'm going to sew it up. And before I give him the shirt back, I will definitely be giving him um, a pressed shirt. I don't think he really likes that. That's not his style. He's more in the... Um, I think I, I might have already told you I'm sorry because with that last clip getting to deleted, I'm sorry. I might have I might be repeating myself, but he's found that he loves the late 80s, early 90s type fashion. And a lot of kids are doing it. He showed me on the videos how he wanted things done. And you know, that makes him happy. And like I told him, as long as you don't wear your baggy pants around your but, because if you do, I'll pull them off of you and put them away. I don't think he'll do that. He says he won't. So we're not going to worry about that. All right. Okay. All right. Got this done. Now we will... I need to turn my iron on. Hold on one second. Plug it in. Let it get warm. Doesn't take long. And I'm going to take this hem. I'm going to cut this off. He doesn't need this anyway. There's some scissors. I just love these scissors. And I don't know if I said it in the yet, if I said it or not, because I deleted that clip, but 
Thank you, Tori. Every time I use these, I think of my friend Tori. She's the, she's the one that gave them to me. Okay, this was the thing. Okay, let's see if this is where I wanted it. Make sure that is it. So let me go back and do this because I mistakenly took the pins out before I got it perfect. That's okay. I'll get it straightened out. Like I said, um, I've been sewing a really long time, but I learn something new every day, and sometimes I forget things. I don't know. I think it's the age. I think it's the age, because I am getting older. We all are, of course, but anyway. All right. I'm just going to pin this up here, Then I'll take it to my iron and press the bottom, get it ready to go to the machine. But I'm going to do the two pair of pants first. And then we'll go from there. Okay, I will come back when I get this pinned up. And okay, I've got it all pinned and pressed on the bottom to him. See if I can find some thread that's going to match it pretty good. Um, but um, but um, dum. Let me see. It's kind of a greenish gray. I have some other threads if I can't find it here. And I don't really see any here. Let me look. Now yeah, that's too green. I need more of a grayish color. And I don't really have any up here. That's more of a brown. This is a gray, but it's... Oh, this may work. I like to match the thread that's on here the best I can. And I believe this is it. Okay, we've got it. We have it. And it is called... I thought it had a name on here. Maybe it doesn't. I don't see it if it does. But that doesn't mean it's not on here. Okay, this is what I'll use with this. And then the two pair of pants are... Black, of course. And I've got black thread right here. Um, black thread, yep. And then we have these green khaki kind of color. We'll see, I bet the other will work for this. I bet this will work for this. Let's look at the threads on it. I like to look at all the threads and make sure it's real close. Not that anybody's going to notice but me. I notice and it's not gonna work. I can't get it out. Where can I get that out? This is a very old thread. And I can't. <laughs> can you get it out? Let's see if I can get this one out. They're the same thing. Yep. Here we go. Perfect. Now if I can find my um, bobbins. Let me look at the bobbins while you're there. I like to match the bobbins and hopefully I'll have something close to it. I believe I see some. Okay, I have I believe this is nearly the same green. I'm not sure close and I don't see anything else so that's going to have to do unless I decide to no I think this one will be fine if it'll be enough if not we'll fix that I've got the black bobbin there's my black bobbin I don't know that's the wrong thing anyway I use metal bobbins in this I thought I had some of that gray. I've got a little, but it's not going to be enough. What did I say I was using this for? The shirt, yeah. 
well you know what I'm gonna use what's left and then go from there so I'll see you over at the machine okay we're gonna change the threads in my machine you know not to pull threads through the tensions this way I'm sure everybody knows that I just wanted to throw that in there for the ones that maybe don't know you never pull it through the tensions backwards you cut your thread off you can cut it anywhere here and then pull it out this way actually you need it up here so you can pull that out so it doesn't come through the tensions that way all right like I said we only have a little bit of the bobbin in here but we're going to use as much as we can and then I will reload it all right what kind of machines do you all have I prefer the vintage ones these I got rid of my newer machine um, years ago when I found out how much I love these this one was given to me by a lady named Tiffany that's why this one's name is Tiffany and I love this machine and because I love it so much I started looking for something else similar so I found Nancy over there she's a Kenmore also and she's vintage this one was given to me that one I paid $50 for and it was a wonderful deal that machine is awesome I had my neighbor needed to use the machine while hers was in the shop so I let her use Nancy over there when she brought it back she says can I have this machine I said no you can't have that machine she goes it's so so good and it sews on everything and I'm like yes it does and it's mine <laughs> I told her she can use it whatever she wants and she had a brand new machine so anyway I, I just like the vintage this is what I learned on even older than this and I loved it and I still still love these machines I do have one named Amanda that a girl at church named Amanda gave to me it's this one right here I guess you can see it it's a singer and it's a it's a much newer machine than any of these that I have but I absolutely love my vintage machines so that's what I do all right it's up just a little everything's good to go let's see and I always like to do this especially on things are really 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 going to show I like to take the fabric and just run a little bit through there just to see how it does and see if I need to change anything and that looks pretty darn good let's look at the back yep we are good to go and that thread is real close close enough anyway all right let's get this thing done I'll just start right up here let me get my pin cushion of course I don't have it I move things around so much I never know where anything is until I get started all right let's get her going This is all so simple. When he asked me about cropping a shirt, I'm like, um, what? For who? You? And he says, not like a real crop top like girls wear, but make it short, like waist length. And I'm like, well, sure I can. And I said, why do you want to do that? And he says, because that's the style, man. And it's his style. It's something he really loves. This is the first year he ever went and shopped for himself without his mom, and he got what he wanted, and he loves it, and he brings it to Nana to fix, and Nana does it. I would do it for any and all of my grandchildren, which I don't get to see any and all of them very much. I don't see um, the adult ones hardly ever, but that's because they're married, they have children, they're busy. They have babies, some getting ready to have babies, so they don't get to visit like I would like, but I know they're busy, and I want to go 
visit them. There are reasons why I can't right now, but it has nothing to do with relationships or anything. It has to do with other things that cause me not to be able to drive down there. But I will, as soon as I can, I will. Because I want to be involved with those babies. And I have four grandchildren about 30 minutes from me, but they also don't get to come very often. And there's reasons for that, and I understand. But I stay in contact with them and try to see them when I can. I love my grandbabies, and I've got seven great-grandchildren and one on the way. And those are the ones I really want to... No, they're not the only ones I want to see, but I definitely want to see them because they really don't know me. But I'll work that out as soon as I can. Okay, I want to take this button off of this so it'll be easier to sew. I was going to do that earlier and forgot because we don't need the button. We do not need the button. Okay, we'll save the button, but we don't need the button on here. See, he's not going to button the shirt up anyway. It's going to be open. I want him to get pictures. You know, children today, which is no different than when I guess I was growing up, everything, everybody has their own style and new styles come out and, you know, I can't say anything. I'm just proud that he's found a style that he likes. It's not exactly what I thought he would pick, but it is what he loves, so I'm totally fine with it. And his mother is too, as long as he, like I said, doesn't wear those baggy pants down below his waist and so far he does not have an intention to so all right there that is that one is done all i've got to do is press it i will press it for him after after we're done with everything i don't know if he wants it pressed because <laughs> i just don't know but you know what i'm going to I am going to. And I had enough of the thread in the bobbin. Isn't it great? I'm so happy about that. Happy about that. All right. Where's the other thread? There it is. Okay. That is done. Looks good. Okay. Let's change. Let's change to the green. Army green. Whatever color you want to call it. And in these pants, we'll get all of these done. I've got a lot of things to do today. I've got blankets going in the wash, two blankets that we use for our, um, remember, cut up here, take the thread off, pull this thread through the tension like that. Just a tip. Just like to remind because my mother had to push that into me and I just want to make sure that I share that info. Alright, this can go away. Can put this up. Get that put up later. Actually it's not exactly the same color as I can thought it was. But it's close. It's close enough I don't think you can tell the difference. Alright. Now what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. Doesn't matter I guess. I feel like if I can't remember then it wasn't important. Okay. Oh, I know what I was doing. I was telling you what all I'm doing today. I'm going to um, try to do my, unbox my fall decor. I'm going to put it all on the dining room table and go through it. And I'll let you go through it with me. And I'll decide a lot of the things that's going in which room. I, don't, I won't decide at all. But a lot of the things that I know go in certain rooms, that's what we're going to do. I may change things around this year. I don't want it to look exactly like last year's, which I don't know if I put one on last year. Because I wasn't doing YouTube then. So I'll have to check and see. Okay. We will check and see. Either way, I'm going to work on that and bring you along with me. And I will... Um, take you along every day that we decorate what we're going to do different rooms until I get them all done 
and then I will do a home tour, a fall home tour. And I'll take you along as I do each room. And I can't get this. There we go. Okay. Good to go now. Let's see if this is going to be as easy as the last. It really does help if you um, press everything first. Now, I only pressed the part where I'm going to be sewing. I did not press this part down. I will do that, though, as we as we go. Until he brings me more. Now let's go see what else we can get into. Okay, we're in the dining room. I'm ready to start unpacking these fall decorations. I'm going to take all of this off and just put it aside for now and we will see what all we come up with.
I think it came from Dollar Tree. I don't know why it doesn't tell it. Usually it does. I don't see. And it may say it. I don't have my glasses on, so. But it was made in 2021, so, and I haven't had this that long, so I'm pretty sure I got this from Dollar Tree. Isn't that cute? And I really loved it because it has the blue truck, and I had it in here last year because of my blue and white that I have in my dining room. But that's a, that's a question. I know a lot of people will buy blue and blue and white things for their blue and white room. I love these colors. I love all the natural fall colors. The oranges and the rust and the reds and the yellows and the golds. I love all those. So I'm going to, I'm not going to buy anything new. And I'm not saying I'm going to buy anything new. I'm not going to buy a lot new. I may buy something if I see something in a thrift store or somewhere. I may get some things because I really have, if I use all this downstairs I have nothing for my family room or my son room out there so I may need to get me a few new things but for the time being I'm gonna say that I may not buy anything but we'll see we'll see because I want all those rooms decorated too because we use the family room upstairs when we have company and especially if we're watching movies and stuff if it's family but anyway I like this too this is very pretty and that's everything that's in the tubs. But I have one more thing. I actually have two, two more things. Let me get this tub put away so I can get over there to the other one. I actually had this other thing in my sunroom. I kept it in there year round because, you know, blessings abound all year long. And I kept this out because it's called Blessings, and you'll see. Let me put this in here. This came from Big Lots also, and I just love this. It has a chain. See how it's painted, all those different little colors and stuff. Isn't that cute? Look at the the um, eye. Isn't that cute? Got a pumpkin on top and the S. I love this. And I had this in my sunroom for the whole year last year because, I mean, blessings are abound all year long, every day. Okay, one more thing. And I used to sell Avon and a friend of mine actually oh this thing's dirty actually gave me his mother was really big into Avon when she was alive when he pat when she passed away she had I three big boxes of these Mrs. Albee's um, figurines and they were things that you get for um, gifts and things like that for selling so much or whatever and she had so many i have gifted a lot of those away still have a few but i have gifted a lot i kept a few i don't think i have any in here but i have some one or two in there somewhere i don't know but this was the fall one look how beautiful she is look how beautiful she is isn't she gorgeous and so I definitely kept her. I thought I had a Christmas one, and maybe I still do. Maybe it's with my Christmas things. But I just love this. I love this. And that's the last thing that I have in the decorating department. Um, I just wanted you to see what all we have. And um, we will... Let's see. I'll turn the camera around so you can see. It it looked like a lot more when it was in the tubs. But when you get it on the table, it doesn't look like so much. It's not even a full table. And when I start putting it out, um, it seems like even less. But that's because I love fall. I love fall decorating. 
but I will be, um, I think we will start with this room. No, we're not going to start with this room. We'll do this room last because it's got all the stuff on the table. I think we're going to start in the living room, not today, but on the next video, we will um, start with the living room and then we'll move our way around from the foyer, bathroom, kitchen, if I could get a chance to put any in the sunroom and we'll do that and then we'll finish this room last and then I'll decide if I need to buy more for upstairs and for the sunroom. We'll, we'll decide then. Anyway, I wanted you to see what we have. Um, I don't think I have anything else. I'm pretty sure that was everything. I don't see anything that might be missing. No, I don't think so. So anyway, that's my fall decor. And pretty soon we'll be helping, you'll be helping me put it out. So until then, I hope you have a wonderful, um, I don't know what day you're going to see this. I don't know if I'm going to put this online today. I don't know if I'm going to put this on, I won't do it tomorrow. I said I don't do Sundays, but if I don't put it on today, it will be a Tuesday video for you, which is probably what I'm going to do. I might add some more things to it. I don't know yet, but um, we will try to start decorating in the living room on the next video. Um, I'm trying to decide because I don't want to put it in this video so I think I'm going to put this out Tuesday and then for the Friday video because I'll have more time to decorate we will start working on the living room that's what we'll do so Tuesday this video that I'm doing that you're seeing now you'll get this on Tuesday so I just hope that you have a wonderful Tuesday. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Friday. Thank you for coming. Thank you for spending time with me. Thank you to the ones that are, are loyal to me and come and see me every video. And also thank you for all the new people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know you could be anywhere else and you come to see me and I thank you for that. And just bear with me, I'm still new at this. I started in January, but I have so much more to learn. But I just pray that you'll come back and be with me and comment, like, share, and subscribe. And just remember, Jesus loves you most. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.